I'm, I'm making a video on the economy of Afghanistan and I, I can't talk too enthusiastically about it because there's absolutely a massive tragedy going on there right now, an absolute economic disaster. But what's very interesting is that they have this capital flight. They used to import much, much more than uh, they exported. And now all of the aid money is gone. But there, so I was like, oh, hyperinflation is in the, in the, in the cards for them. But what I, I found that uh, during this Odd Lots podcast uh, interview with the, the central banker there is what I found out is that they don't have a money printer. They outsourced money printing, the actual printing, and, which is still important for them because they use a lot of cash to a country that now, because of the sanctions, is not willing to extend that service anymore. And still they have double digit inflation. And I think that's, that's again, like a powerful signal that inflation is, is different than just money printing. Wow, that's absolutely fascinating. I, I didn't, <laughs> God, I didn't know that. I mean, yeah, I, I think my understanding of, of hyperinflation is that, you know, usually the money printing <clears throat> tends to follow the inflation, right? It, yeah. it tends to come afterwards. And, and the, the, the problem is that there's a lot of things going on in the kind of real economy, if you want to call it that. Uh, and, you know, in the, you know, things like external debt, things like war, right, things like political upheaval, uh, all of which you clearly have in Afghanistan. So that is, um, yeah, is quite a powerful case study, I suppose, in that. Yeah, very sad case study, but, but indeed, yeah. yeah. But it, it does, I think, you know, to give credit a little bit to the others or, or to sort of people who I argue with the most, um, it does give credit show, I think, that indeed um, printing money is a part of the hyperinflation story. It's just, you know, when we look at cases like Hungary, Weimar Germany, and now Lebanon, uh, it usually follows um, a, a massive run on the currency and it doesn't precede that. Yeah, I mean, it feeds into it, right? You know, you get you get like a, a vicious spiral. That, that's, the, that's the issue. Um, so, I mean, whether this will help Afghanistan in some way, I guess, remains to be seen. Will we find out in your video? Yeah, yeah, exactly.